I'm Bennett. This is Living My Alaska on YouTube. We're headed into Anchorage. I'm picking up Dawn from the airport and we're going on a van camping overnight adventure. We see wildlife, we find a heavenly spot to camp in the bad weather, and we eat breakfast at our favorite cafe. It's all part of this wildlife in the great land. Let's go. Good morning from Girdwood, Alaska. I'm in a good mood this morning, as you can tell, and there's a reason for that. I'm picking up my sweetheart at the airport. My wife is coming back after a three week work assignment in the remote village island town of Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Something I wanted to show you guys before we start up here, I wanted to show you how in the mornings there's a quick and easy way to get a hot cloth to wipe off your face, and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so, dude shower made by dude wipes. They look like this when they come out. They come in different sizes. Pull one out of the packet. Throw it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and no more. Don't nuke the thing forever, folks, but I find about five to 10 seconds works really well and that thing is gonna be steaming hot. Oh, that feels so good, it's hot. That only took five seconds and it's wonderful. So this is where we slept last night, right? This thing folds down into a bed. I used this pillow, it looks like this when it's folded up. It's made by Hest and I got it at REI. And I used this large size puffy blanket made by Rumpel, R-U-M-P-L, also made at REI. So, sofa has to go up. I push my blinds in the open position. So we stow away all toys, turn the TV off. TV remote goes in here with the electronic cabinet. We make sure this TV is locked in place. We're gonna put away our computer bag made by Thule. This little portable hard drive is where I collect all of my content that we then edit and post. So these cabinets don't open very easily with anything pushing. There's a lip right here so this computer can't slide out. So now we can move to the front. We make sure this is locked. We make sure this is locked. So for the next step of taking this van up down the highway is to take down the front. This is basically a quilt I bought at REI and it hangs here and it does a really good job as a privacy barrier and as a temperature barrier from the front of the van. And it just pops off like this. It's got these little um, sticky tab hooks. So I'm just rolling this up. I'm gonna stuff it behind my seat in my little box because um, we're gonna use it again tonight. I just heard from Dawn, she's uh, packing up. Ocean Airways has uh, left Anchorage and it's headed to Dutch Harbor. That's a good sign because the weather is questionable today. We have winds and rain. All right, so we're going to fire this thing up and we are headed over to Beluga Point. So it's time to crank the van and recharge these batteries. We're going to turn the propane off for safety and that's all we have to do in here. All right, guys, let's start this machine up. Woohoo! All right, we're off. All right, let's go to Beluga Point. Eyeglasses. Seatbelt. We're headed out of Girdwood. We're headed north back towards Anchorage down the uh, up the Turnigan Arm. Let's go. Here we are. We're on Turnigan Arm. This is the famous beluga point. Named that because beluga whales like to swim right through here. And you see their big white backs come up and down, up and down out of this water. Uh, let's see, it's almost 10 a.m. I just heard from Dawn in Dutch Harbor. There, she's planning on flying out between 11 and 11.30. Weather permitting, she's got a two hour flight into Anchorage. So as soon as we hear from her that she's actually getting on that plane and flying out, we're gonna head into Anchorage, do a little more shopping, and go park at the airport and wait for her. All right, so I've decided to suck it up and um, in the name of YouTube video entertainment, we're gonna go outside in this absolutely terrible wind and cold. It's probably 40, yeah, it's in the mid 40s. So pretty in here. Almost fell. Jeez. All right, it's windy, guys. Oh, it is beautiful in here. All right, this is the uh, famous Turnigan Arm. That's about as far as I want to go because if I stand there, that wind is going to be kicking and it's cold. Okay, so when we got out of the van, I saw some wild sheep up on these peaks up there. I can see them right now. So I want to go back to the van. We're going to get the binoculars out and see if we can put the camera up the binoculars and let you see those sheep. Okay, you guys, I'm back at the van. Focus, there's a black bear right there. You see it? 
Oh, folks, that is a big, beautiful black bear crawling up those mountains. Okay, so good news. Um, we just heard from Dawn. She just sent me a text. She's boarding the airplane from Dutch Harbor. So I'm trying to get some photo and some zoom imagery of the sheep that's on the top of the mountain. And while I'm doing that, this massive black bear comes walking right across the peak in front of me. So I sure hope we got him. I have a new Sony A7 camera. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> so I couldn't figure out how to zoom in to get the bear or the sheep on camera, but I'm so disappointed that we can find no whales out here today. So I'm not sure what's happening with the whales. Okay guys, we're headed to Anchorage. Gonna make a few stops, pick up the wife, have some lunch. Let's go. Turn left and get out of here. Oh, it's a good time. Let's go right now. We're getting to Cabela's in Anchorage, Alaska, guys. I can't wait to show you the inside of this place. The inside is absolutely beautiful. Bella's in Anchorage. Here we go. This Cabela's in Anchorage, guys. Absolutely beautiful. This is North American Big Game Display, tribute to American sportsmen. We do have elk in Alaska, in some of the islands, mountain goats, and sheep. These are doll sheep. This is what we were spotting on the side of the hill earlier. full-size North American black bear. You can see my hand versus his paw. And I'm not a little guy. I'm a little over six feet tall, 220 pounds. This is a big bear compared to me. <laughs> Let's go get some lunch. Well, that was a fun little trip to Cabela's. Glad you guys could come along. All right, I think we're going to uh, go grab a smash burger. So this. The smash burger. It smells delicious. Smash burger, smash fries, some chicken wings. We're headed to the airport. Dawn should be landing from her plane from Dutch Harbor in about two hours, maybe less. Let's go. Okay, our airport cell phone lot to the right. So if any of you ever come to Anchorage, this is where you might park if you're gonna be out for a few days. And straight ahead is one of the world's largest and busiest seaplane ports. So guess what? We're gonna bust into some smash burger. Yep, it's gonna be tasty. Smash burger with rosemary, fries, chicken wings with rosemary, and the famous smash burger. We'll watch some TV, eat some smash burger, and wait for dawn. Hey, you guys, check this out. There's a bush plane coming in with floats on it. What it's about guys just got a text from dawn she's on the ground the plane has landed we're gonna go pick her up super excited puts me in a good mood when my wife comes home from these trips she's been away for three weeks running the little medical facility in dutch harbor alaska if you guys don't know by now dawn is a registered nurse by trade she's been in management for a long time now upper management to be exact About to get a lot more fun around here, you guys. We got the boss lady back with us. We're going to the uh, Black Bear Campground, and you can see the weather's pretty nasty. So it looks like we're going to be sitting inside watching YouTube tonight, making some dinner salmon viewing area here. This is not exactly the campground. No. We could park yeah. it here though. It says overnight use prohibited. Oh. Wow, man. Look at all the snow that's in here still. Yeah. Well, in a couple weeks it'll be gone, but I mean, I would have bet money we were in here last year, but maybe it was later. So we may as well turn around and go back the other way, right? Yes, I think so. And you, we wouldn't be able to get up to the Portage Glacier no. either. No. If it's no, this much right. snow down here. Here comes a van. I see that. Somebody's camper van. Dinner time in the camper van. I have my sweetheart back with me, so I'm super excited. I'm making her some dinner. And tonight's delicious dish, uh, Stouffer's Salisbury steak <laughs> in the microwave. 
something simple. Terrible weather outside. We did not make it to our campground because the campground is still closed because the campground is still buried in snow. So we found an alternative spot. So we're free camping tonight, which is totally cool. Boss lady's back there relaxing. And I'm gonna serve her some food. This is an easy way when things are tight and you're tired from a long day, don't have time to cook, can't cook outside because the weather's terrible. These pre-prepared meals and the luxury of a really fantastic microwave or wonderful convenience. So honey, I hope this is good. You need a spoon. Salisbury steak and mac and cheese. It's one of your favorites. I know this. Okay, I'm not sure what else. That's a spork. You see in here, I think we have some real forks. Oh, there we go. A demanding woman. Your fork is served. That's it. So that's what she's having. I am having chicken teriyaki bowl. We're gonna stick this in the microwave. And we're gonna sit down, we're watching TV. We are um, watching Jeremy Clarkson. What's the name of the show we're watching, honey? Clarkson Farms. Clarkson Farms 3. Teri teriyaki bowl in the microwave. Uh, no, we're not gonna read the directions. We're just gonna guess it. Wonderful. How is it? It's actually really good. Oh, good. Either I'm really hungry or it's just really good. Well, a little bit of both, because I made it myself. Of course. All right, we've had some dinner. Dawn's gonna get the beds ready clean up in here and I'm gonna go for a walk outside. Okay, honey, I'll be back. Thanks. Yuck. This is life in Alaska, but it's still absolutely beautiful. Check out this view. This is why we live here. Let's go for a walk. High mountain peaks, steady rainfall. That's an avalanche shoot straight ahead right here. This big long thing going up and down. This is where the snow comes. You guarantee you it's snowing on top of that mountain tonight. And this is an outstanding little spot back in here for a tent. Or you could probably sneak your four-wheel drive truck back in here or a small van even. Life is good tonight. I have my wife back after her three weeks in Dutch Harbor. We've got her back. We're going to go home tomorrow. We're going inside. It's freezing out here. I hope Dawn has the bed set up. The heater's on. Oh, honey, it's terrible out there. Yuck. <laughs> I thought you guys would like to see how we got the bed set up. We keep a couple of these rumple blankets, some uh, foam pads. That is an electric sliding couch and it lays down flat into a bed. And this is how we sleep at night and it works really well. All right, we'll see you again soon. We're roughing it. <laughs> We're roughing it. Breakfast? Yes. Breakfast. Please. We're going to breakfast in Girdwood where we had an awesome night camping. I'm taking my sweetheart to breakfast in a wonderful little spot in Girdwood, Alaska. What in the world is that? <laughs> this is a starter breakfast before the real breakfast? All right, you got it. <laughs> oh, it looks delicious. What's in it? Breakfast sandwich. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Rough living. Uh -huh. Cheers. Leftovers were stuffed. Great place to eat if you guys ever visit Girdwood, Alaska. Vanna Great Link is parked right there. We're headed home. I gotta get keys out of my pocket. <laughs> Fan of Grayling did great on this trip. Really comfortable. <laughs> you didn't help, help you? Me or open the door. Carter Marsh is an area just south of Anchorage, Alaska. They've got this beautiful parking area where we can go and walk on this boardwalk and see all the wildlife. Tough life. Somebody's got to live it. Want to go see some little critters? Yep. So there are the swans. Dawn's over there getting some really good photos. She's going to go over there and see what she's doing. Thank you so much for watching as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through the last frontier. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos because we have so much more to share with you as we show you what it means when we say we are living my Alaska. See you next time.